Hello and welcome to another episode of our how-to series, Football Manager 23. I am Duper Daddy, and in today's episode, we are going to look at pre-game editor. And it was a request from one of our viewers. This is a bit of a half promise because half of it I'm going to do and show you in game of the change. But for other half, I just don't have the time. I started doing it and then it worked out that it's really, really complicated. And I don't know that league. This is why I kind of stay with England because I know the dates, I know the competitions, but I will give you some direction and hopefully this will help others. And that's the whole point of the video. So what was the request? The request was any chance you could make a file with Norwegian First Division starting in August and making it a 20 team league? Can't figure it out myself. So without any wait, let's dive into it. First Division, I'm going to make 20 teams as asked. And for second division, I'm just going to make into 12. And that's going to be our balance within the leagues. Before I even go into advanced editor, I'm actually just going to jump into the database and go to these competitions. So we're going to put in a filter, Norway, and we'll go by reputation. So we have that. For I'm not even going to say their names. I'm going to go first division and second division. OK, so there's your top first division and there's your second division. And then you have domestics and all that. But as you can see, it kind of goes post Nord, Ligon, Edeveling, 2, 1, 4, 3. But I couldn't quite, I couldn't find, and this is probably where I'll find it now that I scroll down. Couldn't work out where there, it, maybe it's post Nord, Ligon. But I don't understand for, for language. So post Nord, Ligon. So yeah, it probably is that and that links that. But that's fine. We're not going to go into that detail. We're going to load up this league and go into teams. And we're just going to do for team movement. And on your left-hand side, if you go to teams, don't worry about teams for next season. It should automatically change. If it doesn't, and then you can just update it. And because this is a division below, we're just going to go by reputation. And we are going to remove. If you hold down shift, you should be able to multiply select and then remove. And I do have a list, a list I made earlier. So we have brown. So write them down. Or if you can remember, even better, and go OK. And we don't have to do those filters again. So that's one team added. And we're just going to change the name. So it's Stabek. So we put Stab. There you go. You can tell who it's not. Add. You can tell who it is, should I say, by uh, for empty division space. Who's the next one? Start. There you go. Add. And this one is uh, Majon Dallin, their first team. That's it. OK, there we go. We've got 20 teams now. I'm going to close my Excel sheet because it's really, really bright in my eyes. So, yeah. And to be fair, they're not the worst teams. I mean, Brand's up here now in this top division. Starts there. Stabex there. There's that Nuzzle Brand. Oh, uh, Nuzzle team. I can't pronounce them. Is there. Stabex there. So, Brand. Brand really low, aren't they? OK, so that is done. So, we've changed the teams. We don't have to worry about that. Teams are now synced. We just now need to tell the rules that we've got 20 teams in this one and 12 teams in further. I haven't done an advanced rules video for Football Manager 23 from the last editor. Nothing's really changed. I will maybe do an update version for the next Football Manager. I'm doing it every year. It's just no point. So let's go and add advanced rules. Go okay, add nation, current nation, and find Norway. And then add lower divisions and cuts. And then we go to convert to advanced rules. Yes. And that's it. We are now in the rules. So for first bit that we need to change, obviously we need to change it within the league, uh, for two leagues that we've changed. But we also need to tell the nation structure that we've changed it. So for the way you do that, you keep this as Norway. And then you want to bring down for list required teams just underneath nation. And as you can see, minimum team 16, 16. So this is where we've changed it. And as you can see, it's already got those counts. So we want to just match that up. 20, 20, and then this one, 12, 12, 12. OK. That's the nation bit done. So that means that we can move on to the top division, go to the league stage. And I believe this might give you for count. Yes, in general. And there you go. There's just 16 prize money. Here we go. Add. 
tells me how many items. So we want 20, 17, 18, 19, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. And to be fair, you could just keep it the same. But what I'm actually going to do is just give it a bit of realism. OK, I think that's it in that league. And then we have to go and check that out in this league. Now, they've got two. They've got a default and a 2020. I'm presuming if we looked at the dates on here. So this is the start year of 2021. Obviously, this is Football Manager 2023. So this is probably just old historic data information and this is and that's just when they changed it i mean you could go back to for old ways if you know for leagues and you know that there was a big change maybe you might want to delete that and go back to that and see what what it does but in this manner we are going to just change for default so again what we're going to do is we will just go to for league general change that to 12 now we go and we need to change the prize money and we just click on league settings. It's not under any general or anything like that. Just league settings. So I can't find any prize money in these. It's blank. Look. Prize money. There. It's blank. So they must get prize money some other way. Maybe through sponsorship. But they can't go without any money. Prize money. That's not very fair. So I'm just wondering if it's just in money. We had money. Initial TV money. 1.8 million. That's, that's standard. Final ranking money. There's nothing in there. It's ticked. TV money for match. Nothing. Okay. Because I can't find any prize money, I'm not going to change it in that. But what we're going to do is, before we go and do any testing on that, let's just show you what I was having difficulties with for dates. We just go fixture times, start dates. So that's just a line of start dates. There's no dates within here. Then you've got season periods, okay, which you would have to change. Obviously, if seasons are for division levels, May to December, and they will end in December. So you would have to alternate that. But I would advise to keep the season for same length to fit all those fixtures in. And then you also have transfer windows as well. You might want to adjust. And then for complication starts coming into when you go into the league, where you go general, you go date range, start month, March, December stages league schedule so you would need to start date end date match dates are fine and then you've got some key dates as well might want to change them priorities and then you've got break periods summer breaks most likely this is so it all has to align with all this or you tweak them that's a stage and then if you look at anything in there fixture rules ah here you go so you got some fixture dates here so you've got all for finals of your playoffs and then you've got other bits and pieces in here key east holidays and all that to be fair i don't quite know what they all are doesn't really specify what they are if i'm honest something happens every two years these are probably holidays national holidays maybe there's just there's just so much i changed first division but then i got to down to the second division and i think i went into here where is it fixture rules fixture dates i went into this one and went scroll down i was like oh no or well, you could keep them in. You could try it. I mean, I could go back to that for save and try it. But I just thought, oh my God, that's a lot of dates. And most likely it's just holiday dates. But I've got 37 un uh, unsaved changes. So we do want to test these now. And we're going to test all rules. Yep, we have to say first, my bad. My, your eyes aren't deceiving you. I am in a different color t-shirt. I have cut my hair. Hair. When I cut my hair, I do my beard and my hair. It's not deceiving you because it's the next day. It didn't take that long to do for test. Test competitions verified. When I did it, I looked at time. I went, ah, crap. I need to go pick up my daughters from school. And then by the time I got to do it again, it's a new day. It's now. Let's just quickly jump in and show you for editor. And as you can see, if you look top corner, it says Norway test two, four out four division levels verified. So I've just loaded up the file that we was working on. So now that we've done that, I'm going to jump in for game and show you that it's working. Right, we're in for game and we've just gone to start new game, career mode. And if you go up to top hand corner, look up, look up, follow my mouse. Database, there's only one database there and that's where we've done our editing. And as you can see, I did a test beforehand and that's with the dates. I haven't verified it. Therefore, we cannot choose it. We are going to select Norway test two. And as you can see, that's for nation continent Norway. Confirm, advanced setup, 
It's going to bring up uh, for South African nations. I don't know why. I chose that once by accident and it's just stuck there now. Very odd indeed. Add remove leagues and we are... Shame there's not like a clear button. Oh, wait, what's this? Why is it defaulted? Look, why am I defaulted to that? How do I get rid of that? Anyone know? Do I need to go find out? Go play around with some settings? If you do know, and I haven't done it by the time, maybe my next video or next new save or next editor video, let me know down in the comment section. So let's get rid of all of these and we just want Norway. Confirm. Yep, those two divisions. So that's where we've made for changes. And we are going to start. All right, yep, duper daddy, that will do. It's from my unknown to icon. And we'll choose Bran. And for new team in that division, one of the teams that we put in there, confirm. So we want to go straight into Philly. Now they loaded up. And there we have it. There's your 20 teams. If you are asked, and I give. What I will do is I will share this file through Steam, uh, for editor file through Steam. If you don't have Steam and you want for Norway leagues changed, uh, da, 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 I will find a way. Comment if you want it. I might need your email address or you can email me at duperdaddy at gmail.com and I probably could send it to email. I think they're quite small files. It looks quite cool. I like the format of the league. You've got some European places here, so they've got five European places. I like for two go down and then they play uh, with a team with them for playoffs. So they replace the two going down and then there's your playoff and then the winner plays for third bottom team. I like that. I think that's quite cool. Relegation playoffs. Should they include that into all divisions? That could be quite cool. In fact, imagine Premiership. Or is the Premiership and Championship too far apart in many terms anyway? Could be interesting. Ideas. Ideas to create league. Or I, I do want to create a nation. Like Royal Family Nation or something like that. I don't know. What a league that is. Literally, safe is 7th, 8th, 9th. Playoffs are top 6. And then relegation is 11th, 12th and possibly 10th. So here's your structure for the top league. You can play around, look at my other videos and you can be able to change all these rules. Substitution rules, we've changed that. Points, we've changed that. Ah, oh, prize money. Just how we put it. Down to 20th. That's a good idea because we could not find prize money in this one, could we? Yep, they don't get any prize money. They don't get any prize money. That shocks me. They must get something, surely. Miscellaneous rules. Is there anything here? Wow, even in the second division, you need undersole heating. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's Norway. It's cold, right? It's colder than us. Where do they make any money? Just through sponsorship and turnstiles and commercial deals. But they don't make any money in the league. Whereas here, you've got prize money. Maybe that's something for you to just add in. Just add in. Really easy to do. Just looking at for prize monies. Did I give too much money down our bomb? I did. Was it maybe thousands? <laughs> Was it maybe thousands? Oh, sorry, I added one extra zero. Uh, 1.6 million if you win for league, get Champions League. But if you get relegated, you get 5.9 million. I think actually, oh, you can't open up. I think for positions above, we changed as well, didn't we? They get 6.4 million and then they get like under a million. Oh, that's funny. Oh, my bad. Used to for Premier, Premier Division prize funds. If you have any questions regarding for editor, please feel free. I'm I'm not an expert. I do have to go away, have a look at things. If I haven't done it before, what I do is I go away, have a try. If I can do it, I'll make a video. If I can't do it, and then I'll go away and research if it's possible to do. Have a play. That's what for editors there for. Have fun with it. As I keep on saying, take one step at a time. Do an action in for rules. Verify. Check it out. Go back. Make changes. Keep on doing it. Go back. Don't make all these changes. Test it and then come to me and say, do pal, why is that not doing this? I keep on getting this error. Take your time. It's such a big database. It's so complicated. Every league is different. If every nation's different, yes, there's cause, but it's very complicated and it can be overwhelming for a first time user as well. So slow down. Sometimes it's good. Use Excel. Build a plan of what you want to change from that stage or creation create a plan of going right okay i need to change this this just phase one phase two phase three and then implement it phase by phase if you like the video you know what you need to do if you want to see more videos like this one then hit that subscribe button it's really appreciated really supports the channel come on we can get to a thousand wouldn't it be nice if you could just buy me a beer you can by subscribing to my channel